Hi, I'm Riley DeGroff, and this is my Module 11 uh, presentation or assignment, um, preparing to meet with people who are dying, um, actively dying. So these are, you know, your people who are on hospice and they want to make their arrangements and kind of get those set in place because chances are they will be passing away within a year, usually. Um, it's going to be a lot quicker than that, months, weeks, or sometimes even days. And... This, this can be hard because it's kind of like, well, what do you say to somebody who's dying and they know it? Um, you know, they're preparing themselves and you have to prepare yourself. They're going to look to you as the professional and to make them feel better. Um, and it's, it's really important to understand that, like, this is a hard thing to go through. And it's, you know, you don't understand it at the moment because you're not the one actively dying. So I don't understand what it's like to you know know that you're dying and know that you're I mean obviously none of us know when we're gonna die tomorrow could be my last day who knows but um you know these people know that they have just a matter of weeks months left and it's kind of like what do you do with that information and obviously when you're on hospice you're sick something is killing you and they probably don't feel good. Um, hospice is comfort care, but at the same time, you know, when you have a pretty advanced disease, you're not going to feel good. Um, and they're also scared, which is completely normal. I would be scared too. And again, they're going to look to you. So you want to make sure that you conduct yourself very professionally and have the answers. Um, and they might just, you know, one of the things that I would do is kind of just let them vent to you for a little bit. You're there to, you know, kind of discuss the funeral arrangements, but if they need to just vent to you for a little bit, like, let them, because this is a really hard thing to go through, and they might not be able to vent to their family, because some families, you know, they don't want to accept it, they kind of just don't want to think about it, so therefore, they don't want to talk to their loved one about them passing away, um, which, again, is normal, you know, just kind of avoidance of the situation. It, excuse me, they don't want to, um, you know, it's kind of like I cross that bridge when we get there type of thing. I don't want to think about you dying right now, even though they are going to be passing away soon. Um, and it's important that, you know, you understand that and you just kind of let them talk. Because they might just need to kind of let some stuff off of their chest. And it's also going to make them feel better talking with you because um, you work with the people who have already passed and kind of they, they want to know what's going to happen to them, you know, after and if their wishes are going to be fulfilled. And it's your job to assure them that, yes, they will. Yes, you will be buried if that's what you want. Yes, you will be cremated if that's what you want. Yes, you're you will be put in this casket if that's what you want. Yes, you're going to go in this urn if that's what you want. Yes, we'll have this and this at the funeral. And you're going to be buried here at this cemetery, you know, it, they want to make sure that they have that all set. So one, it takes a burden off of their family members and two, so that they know. And it's also, you know, it's really nice when you have this because you can hear it firsthand from the person like, you know, this is what I want instead of, you know, maybe it was a sudden death and obviously you don't really talk about your funeral when it's a sudden death and, um, yeah, uh, so they don't know. The family's just kind of guessing. But when you have a solidified, this is what I want, you talk to this person, and this person could have talked to their family as well and been like, I want to be cremated or I want to be buried, you know, then you know. It makes it a lot easier. Um, they can choose to prepay it too if they would like, but that's kind of another um, deal. But, you know, it's, it's just important to... For them to kind of keep in mind and you know it, it can be hard on you too because you're kind of put it getting put all of this stress onto you you know because they do need to vent they are stressed they are scared and you kind of have to take that and make them feel better which can be a very hard thing especially when you're dealing with death which is kind of seen as like the worst thing ever you know it's like the worst thing that can happen to a human is you die but even though we all die um but yeah, and make sure you come prepared, um, you know, pricing the catalogs and everything to that so that they have all of the things that they need 
to make a decision because, you know, you're to the point where these people won't have a lot of time to really think about something or wait for you to get back to them on something. Like, you should know the answers right then and there. You know, you have these people who, it's, again, it's a matter of days, weeks, months, and, you know, it's important to kind of, you need to have all the answers then and there so that they know the answer. Um, it's not really, oh, I'll get back to you, and then that turns into weeks, and then days, or days, and then weeks, and then months, and then they're dead, and they didn't have an answer to that question, so, um, it, you know, just, it, it's, treat it like it's an at-need arrangement, or an, another, another pre-need arrangement, um, you know, be as professional as you can, not treat it, I guess, like that, but, you know, um, have kind of that same demeanor, you know, they're going to look at you to be kind of the calming, you know, person with the answers, and that's what's important, and they should feel better after talking to you.